Say hello to two of Wuppertal Zoo's newest recruits. These furry fellas were only too happy to turn on the charm for the cameras as they were let into their outdoor enclosure for the first time. The three-month-old lion cubs named Aru and Aketi are the first to be born to their lioness mother Malaika and their proud keepers couldn't wait to show them off to the public. <laughs> By the time this tiny cub is two years old, no one will be able to push him around. But for now, we'll just have to put up with Mum Malaika showing him who's boss. At this age, cubs are cared for by the females in their extended family, which is known as a pride. Lions come from Africa and Asia. In the wild, cubs like these are often in danger of starving, as they compete with other cubs in the pride for food. But in the many zoos and wildlife parks around the world, their chances of survival are very good. Lions are the second biggest of all the cats in the world after tigers. In the wild, they usually live to an age of around 16 years. But these well-cared-for zoo babies could be around for another 25 years. <laughs> Meanwhile, over at San Diego Zoo in America, a six-week-old giant panda cub is carried to the scales. At birth, this baby male could fit in the palm of a hand. As it grows, it's being carefully looked after by carers and keepers, making sure everything is going well. This little cutie's mother is called Bai Yun, who is on loan to the zoo from China, where giant pandas live in the wild. As well as listening to the cub's heart and checking his pulse, his keepers also need to measure him to make sure he's growing at the right rate. His name is Mei Shang, and he's only the second giant panda to be born in America, and at 40 centimeters long, he's doing very well. The zoo's vet puts his fingers in Mei Sheng's mouth to feel the little canine teeth. They'll soon be strong enough to crunch through bamboo, a panda's favorite food. By the time he's fully grown, he'll be getting through a pile of bamboo that weighs five times as much as he does now. Mei Sheng's ears are already open, but it'll be a few more days before he opens his eyes. This funny-looking animal is called a tapir. It's related to the rhinoceros, and its favorite food is bananas. At Hanover Zoo, people are catching their very first glimpse of this brand new member of the tapir family. Her name is Carmina, and with her spots and stripes, she looks quite different to her mother, Conchita. These markings are often called camouflage, and this helps the baby tapirs stay hidden in the wild to protect them from danger. As they grow up, they lose their spots and take on a more plain colouring of grey or black. Tapirs can be found in the wild in forest regions of South America, Central America and Southeast Asia. Their front feet have four toes and their hind feet have just three toes, which spread out to help them walk on muddy and soft ground. They are very happy in water and will often go right under. Their bendy nose helps them grab food from hard to reach places in the jungle as they look for their other favorite foods like fruit, berries and leaves. They spend most of the day keeping their snouts to the ground in search of food. But for now, baby Carmina is just happy to be alive. She was born upside down and keepers had to act quickly to save her life. Thanks to the careful attention of the zoo's vet, Carmina and Conchita are now in the very best of health.
now to another star attraction that loves being in the water. Over in Yugoslavia, Belgrade zookeepers are celebrating the birth of one of the animal kingdom's biggest babies. This newborn hippo is called Rada, and she's sticking close to her mother, Julka. The hippopotamus is the second largest land animal after the elephant. They like to take the weight off their feet by spending most of their time lounging around in rivers. That's why their eyes, ears and nostrils are on the top of their head. In the wild, hippos eat grass, but here in Belgrade Zoo, they're getting a special treat of day-old bread. After feeding, Julka sinks back in the pool for an afternoon nap, while baby Rada learns to swim. Polar bears live in the Arctic Ocean and the seas around it. They are the largest animals to hunt on land and are twice as big as lions and tigers. The males are usually double the size of the females. The polar bear is closely related to the brown bear, but its body has been made to adapt to much colder temperatures, so it can move across snow and ice and swim in the open water. This polar bear has just given birth to a cub and although no one yet knows whether it's a boy or a girl, the Nuremberg Zoo has launched a competition to name it. Polar bears are known for their great sense of smell, which helps them to sniff out food from long distances. They also have very good eyesight and can hear as well as humans. They're also excellent swimmers, and their thick layer of fat helps protect them from the cold. In general, adult polar bears like to live alone, but cubs can often play together for hours. This international superstar is called Knut. When the zookeepers realized that his mother Tosca was not fit enough to raise him, they decided to bring him up themselves, and the public fell in love with him. Knut now has his own CD and book, and there is talk in Hollywood of making an animated movie based on his adventures. The polar bear director of Nuremberg Zoo hopes that their new polar bear baby grows up to be just as playful and happy as Knut, and that visitors to the zoo will have lots of fun with finding he or she the right name. <laughs> flamingos are very social birds, and in a zoo you will often find hundreds of flamingos together. In the wild, they come from North and South America, and spend most of the day feeding, preening, resting and bathing. Although they are very good swimmers and often go right under, flamingos mostly like to simply stand around in shallow fresh water. These 10-day-old flamingo chicks are getting ready for the cameras at their first photo opportunity at the zoo. The long-legged chicks will be raised in youth groups that are sometimes called colonies, where the little ones from different families are looked after together. Flamingo chicks remain here until the zoo's keepers can tell which ones are males and which ones are females. Then some of them will be sent to other zoos to help with the breeding program. This year, the conditions in the zoo have been just right for breeding flamingos, and there are lots of new chicks. Flamingo chicks are able to swim before they are old enough to leave the nest, because they begin to grow their flight feathers at just 11 weeks. At the same time, their bill begins to grow downwards like a hook, so the chick can feed itself. The white or grey coloured feathers very gradually turn pink over one, two or sometimes three years, until they become as brightly coloured as these adult flamingos. The very last part of the skin to turn pink is often the ankle. Something very special has happened at the Giza Zoo in Cairo in Egypt. It recently welcomed the first baby seal ever to be born in a Middle Eastern zoo. Its mother was pregnant for almost a whole year, or around 355 days. Female seals usually only give birth to one offspring at a time. The baby suckles its mother's milk for three months before starting on the seal's favorite diet of fish. Pups are born black or dark brown, 
and gradually shed their coat and change into a more chocolate colour. Seal mothers have a routine of taking trips back into the sea for food and coming back to nurse their pups. The little ones take their first plunge into the water at about four weeks old. This little pup could end up growing to twice the size of a cow. But for now, it's just enjoying playing with mummy and daddy and messing around in the pool. This worried mum is pacing the cage while her beautiful tiger cubs are checked over by the vets at Berlin's Friedrichsfelder Zoo, where they were born in May. Little Nias and Batu made their first public appearance just a few days later. In less than two weeks after giving birth to them, their mother Santana saw them more than double in weight, thanks to a healthy diet of mother's milk. Nias and Batu were named after groups of islands off Sumatra in Indonesia, where they are originally from. Their father lives thousands of miles away in San Diego Zoo in America, so they rarely get to see him. Like so many other big cats, Sumatran tigers are threatened by extinction, and there are only around 500 of them left in the wild. They are the smallest of all living tigers, which makes it very easy for them to move through the dense jungle. Tigers mainly eat meat. In the wild, they will hunt boar, tapir and deer. They do sometimes eat grass and leaves for dietary fiber and also enjoy fruit. Although most cats are known for not liking the water, tigers grow up to be excellent swimmers. Thanks to the webbing between their toes, Sumatran tigers can swim very fast and for long distances. Aside from their size and powerful build, tigers are most famous for their unique pattern of black stripes on top of their white and orange fur and the lighter shading underneath. Their strength and beautiful markings make them a popular symbol on flags and banners as mascots for sporting teams. The tiger is also the national animal of several Asian nations, and you can see why. Most tigers have more than 100 stripes. The pattern of the stripes is different on every animal, which means no two tigers are ever the same. Their stripes can be used to identify individual tigers in the same way as fingerprints can be used to identify people. In a recent survey, people were asked to vote for the world's favorite animal, and no one was surprised when the tiger won, just beating our best friend, the dog. After a long day of showing off to all the visitors, the cubs are being packed off home to mum to get some good rest so they can be ready to smile for the cameras tomorrow. the Ramat Gan Safari Park Zoo in Israel, the arrival of a six-foot-tall giraffe recently put smiles on everyone's faces. The giraffe mother, who's called Denisa, and her calf, De Niro, are both doing very well. The male calf was named after the famous film actor, Robert De Niro. Denisa is a great mother and knows exactly how to take care of her big baby who will eventually grow to be three times taller than he is now. She licks De Niro lovingly, and when it comes to mealtimes, she stands patiently while De Niro feeds on her milk. Denisa will continue to sit close to her cub throughout his early years to make sure he stays happy and safe. Giraffes use their long necks to reach the branches of tall trees, from which they pick and eat the leaves. They're related to deer and cattle, and they are the tallest of all land-living animals. Giraffes live in grasslands and open woodlands. They are able to drink and store lots of water, so they can spend long periods of time in dry areas. Both male and female giraffes have horns, 
The horns of the female are smaller and have tufts of hair on the top, while the male's horns tend to be bald on top. Denisa is only 17 years old and has already given birth to 10 calves, which is very rare. Here at Ramat Gan Safari Park Zoo, the keepers are hoping that she will break with tradition and give birth to at least one more calf before her 20th birthday. Meanwhile, in Australia, Taronga Zoo's two new star attractions have rusty red coats, black fur on their feet, long bushy tails and white furry ears. The Nepalese red panda is naturally found in southwestern China and lives in the bamboo forests of the Himalayan mountains. It's the mascot of festivals in the Indian state of West Bengal. In the wild, only around 2,500 red pandas remain. But these cute little twins take the number of red pandas at Sydney Zoo up to a very healthy 40. Red pandas spend most of their time in trees and do occasionally eat meat. But just like their giant panda relatives, their favorite food is bamboo. Like the giant panda, they have an extra thumb to help hold the bamboo shoots up to their mouths while they chew. They also eat berries, fruit, mushrooms, acorns, grasses, and even insects. Red pandas begin their daily activities with washing their fur. They also scrub their back and belly along the sides of trees or a rock. They're known to be rather lazy creatures and usually like to spend most of the day resting and eating. But in Taronga Zoo, there is just too much to see and do, like keeping an eye on visitors from high up in a tree. Children gathered at the Buenos Aires Zoo in Argentina to say hello to a new male chimpanzee. The baby chimp's name will be chosen by the zoo's visitors, who will place their suggestions in a box next to the cage. According to the zoo's staff, the new chimp spends most of his time beside his parents, breastfeeding and learning to walk. When he is eight or nine years old, he will be sent to another zoo to stop the adult males from fighting and hurting each other. Until then, he will stay here with the group. Chimpanzees are the closest relatives to humans, and they share many of our characteristics, like being ticklish in the same areas of the body, such as the armpits and belly. Chimpanzees are also extremely smart, great with picking up tools, and they're very good at maths. The pudu is the smallest deer in the world. It can be found in Chile and Argentina in South America. Pudu are very cautious animals. Checking the wind every now and then for signs of danger, they keep on the lookout for predators like eagle owls, cougars, foxes and small cats. When the pudu feels threatened, it runs in a zigzag pattern and it has the unique ability to climb trees. But here in the peaceful atmosphere of the zoo, there is no need for that. Deers are strictly vegetarian, and the pudu stands on its hind legs to graze on twigs and bark, fruits, leaves and seeds. They have slim, compact bodies and long, powerful legs, which also make them good swimmers. Born golden eagle is a rare sight anywhere. And in Lithuania's Kaunas Zoo, this recent addition to the bird population is attracting a lot of interest. Golden eagles are rarely found in zoos, and this is the first time that a golden eagle chick has been born here. In the wild, the birds of prey can live for about 60 years. Golden eagles live on mice, marmots, and hares and will sometimes even eat deer or lambs and goats. As this eagle baby grows, zookeepers will eventually have to feed it almost one kilogram of meat every day. In 
many cultures, the golden eagle is regarded as very special. Eagles are different from other birds of prey, mainly because of their larger size, more powerful build, and heavier head and bill. Like all birds of prey, eagles have a very powerful hooked beak for tearing meat, as well as strong legs and powerful claws or talons. They also have amazing eyesight, so they can spot prey from a very long distance. These four scaly babies are very special indeed. They are baby dragons, and they are the first of their kind to be born in Europe. Komodo dragons come from a remote Indonesian island and bear a strong resemblance to dinosaurs, which have been extinct for millions of years. Dragons are the biggest land-based reptiles, and they're able to hunt animals as big as deer. They are among the most endangered animals in the world. Less than 3,000 dragons of this kind still live in the wild in Komodo and other small islands in the Indonesian southeast. New mother Sungai had only just arrived at her new temporary home in the UK when she laid some eggs. The zoo's keepers are not sure who the father is because she was already pregnant by the time she arrived. Komodo dragons use their tongues to smell with, and as they have poor night vision, it also helps them find their way in the dark. Although you can see its ears, a dragon can only hear sounds at certain frequencies and will often not react to human voices. America, all the way down to Tierra del Fuego in South America. When they're all grown up, pumas, also known as cougars, like to spend time by themselves. Only mothers and kittens live in groups, with adults meeting only to mate. The puma is a symbol of strength and health, and many places, as well as a brand of sports shoe, have been named after this magnificent giant cat. Join us next time on Zoo Babies for lots more chicks, calves and cubs.